Hey guys, I'm finally live. This is my first live feed, so uh, I'm just gonna wait here a little bit. Like I said, it's my first live feed, so I appreciate all your patience. But I re I'm really excited about everything I got in my tank right now. And um, I was gonna do a video. I am gonna do a video. Um, just, uh, I couldn't wait any longer. So, uh, here, hold on for a second. I gotta flip this here. There you go, that's better. Just trying to see who's on. I'm gonna wait like maybe four more minutes. I got this cool ass core view shirt on. Woo! I picked up from Reefer Palooza. Um, it, the show was amazing. I loved it. Whoever was not there has to be there next time. Um, all right, so. I'm, I'm going to turn the camera around in about two minutes. Um, it is my first live stream, so Uh, I'm not going to waste any, no time. Let me just turn the camera around now. I was hoping to um, see the comments and everybody that's on here. But uh, I don't seem to know how to do it. But here she is. My new 10 gallon. I picked up a lot of pieces uh, in the past month that really has set this tank apart. I believe um, there's a there's there's a very strong uh, Newell Ten Innovative Marine Newell Ten Nano Tank fan base out there. Um, and I just, I love what everybody does with them. I follow some groups on Facebook. It's just insane what you can get out of this box. Little 15 by, I think it's like 15 by 17 inches, that is. <clears throat> Look at Miami there. What's going on? He's like, what? I want food. I don't want to be on a little video. Let 
And that's uh, Dark Knight right there. There he is. I just picked this guy up from Living Reef. Living Reef, yes. Living Reef Orlando. Uh, really small. Yellow Con Goby. He's being shy right now. Oh, he just, there he is. You see his little head poking in. So I'm just going to start um, showing you guys all my corals. That's the centerpiece right there. But I'm going to leave that for the end. I've been creating this small Aiken garden. There you go. This guy right here. <clears throat> I'll tell you a little story about this guy. It is a rainbow. Um, but as you can see, it's still red. That's because I've gone through a lot of light changes. So it's very important for you guys to keep your lot, your light consistent because your corals will change. But this guy's been with me for two years. It started out as a two head frag. Now I have, uh, I don't know. Maybe 40. And right behind here, on the back side, I have green Akins. They come out once in a while, but I believe the red ones have overpowered it, so. I have this little colony right here. And I love that I can show. Um, I, I'm, I've been trying to take pictures of all my corals, but it's so hard without gel filters to show the true colors. Um, but this is very close. Let's go on to the other side. These are my fiance's favorite cotton candy. Cotton candy agents, just very light blues, very light pinks and whites. <clears throat> we picked it up at uh, Worldwide Corals uh, about a year ago. And down to here, these are my LRO masterpieces, Living Reef Orlando. Oh, there's my conk. My conk snail, I'm about to get rid of him, <laughs> not really, but uh, he's really good in the tank, but he just moves a lot of frags around. Um, so you definitely, if you get one, you definitely have to glue your frags down very well. But again, I got these two here. It's not focusing right. I'm using my cell phone right now, um, but I'm going to use my uh, DSLR, my Canon, next time. I have the Rebel T6i. You hook up uh, an HDMI cable to your laptop, and you can live stream uh, better quality. And then I have these guys here. These guys in the back right there, the green and blue or purple, I've had for about two months. And they've really changed colors. They've, they have orange stripes on the skirt. 
and green centers. Really like them. So that's, oh, hold on. I forgot these right here. I just picked these up from Worldwide Corals. Um, again, I've been trying to show the colors and pictures, but the video is... Sorry for the zooming. So I have these here. They, um, the colors on this one, it, it's crazy. It's like orange, light orange, highlighter orange, green, reds, green. It, I mean, it's insane. And then if you step over here, let me go to the other side. Sorry, my finger keeps getting in the way. Here you go. These are more, the red on these, it's like a blood red. Then it goes into an orange. I got those from World War Corals. Uh, my blue Akins, that one right there. I got that from Living Reef, Living Reef Orlando. You can look them up online. Just type livingreeforlando.com. Uh, he's closed right now. It's. I tried to set the light to where uh, they would be open all the time, uh, but they fed and now they're going to sleep. But this guy, this guy's like a purple center with. Uh, like a marine blue skirt. And this chalice here I just picked up from Living Reef Orlando as well. Um, I think it was a Miami Punch chalice, but I just, I love the coloration on it. Uh, again, sorry for the focus problems. So, apart from my Aikens, that's my Aiken garden growing right there. I'm going to show you my flower anemones I just started collecting. But this guy, the snail, here, let me, I have a little tool here. It's just a, a half a hanger. I don't like sticking my hand in the tank. So when I have something like this, I'll just go in, come out, there you go, he's gone. That way I can show you, uh, there you go. The one on the right, lime green center with purple skirt. This one, it's uh, called a quad color. I picked this up from kushcorals.com. Tank tank, yeah. Uh, but it has white stripes, if you can see there on the top right. It has white stripes. It goes from red to orange to green with a red skirt. He's kind of pissed off right now because the snail was... Uh, hold on, let me show you. There you go. See the white stripes. <clears throat> and then I have these two up, up top. Ironically, one's from Living Reef and the other's from 
uh, crushcoils.com, but they both kind of are identical. Uh, the only difference is um, one skirt's brighter than the other. That's all the flower anemones I have. Uh, I have a nice Duncan on this side. That I also got from Lemon Reef. Um, Lemon Reef Orlando is my local fish store. Um, they're like a block away. Um, so I spend a lot of time there. <laughs> um, I'm very good friends with everybody there. But I got this piece maybe a month and a half ago. And not even two weeks in, it was already having babies. It has like four three to four babies on the on the side and miami loves to host it yeah you i also picked up from chris carl's this plate coral it's my first plate coral it's awesome i love it i love feeding it i feed it uh mysis p mysis i feed it refrenzy and the thing just go goes crazy. So now, um, let me show you my torches. Unfortunately, I lost a real nice torch uh, from kushcorals.com. Um, Bobby calls it a glow warm torch. Um, I, I've tried to see this thing everywhere and i can't find it um my anemone unfortunately tipped over and touched it stung it and uh i just lost it it didn't come back but this is just a regular green torch with purple tips i have this little guy here just regular purple tip hammer Still growing out. And my centerpiece is my rainbow walling hammer. The light shows a lot right now. And I'm not trying to make this light feed long, so I'm just gonna, there you go. It has some greens, yellows, and purple on each tentacle. I really love this piece. I've never seen it before. I've tried to find similar ones around and I just can't. So really it's and and this live stream or pictures don't do justice to the coloration. And I also keep some SPS. This bird's nest has been with me for two years since I started the tank. I also have this digitata right there, right below the, the flower nams and the purple Pacillopora. They're all doing very good. I'm gonna shut off the pumps to show you top down. So I have this, I call it the control center where I have everything plugged in. Just wanted to show you the uh, digitata. Get out! You always photobomb me. Move. Thank you. There you go. Again, 
Next time I live feed, I'm going to use my DSLR. So it'll, it'll be better and focusing and stuff like that. Um, let me see if I can take a shot on these guys here. There you go. Nice rainbow icons to the left. You can see the uh, ones to the right with that very deep red color. That chalice. I really love that chalice. And it's not going to focus. And these icons. My flower names. I do have an anemone, but he's been irritated so bad by my uh, clownfish. Where is he? Uh, it's right there. He is. He'll look good one day. He'll look good. He'll look bad the other. And that guy right there. That's my blue-bodied coral banded shrimp. He's awesome. I love him. He's really tiny, so he sticks behind my rock all the time. I have a little nice Fabia growing down here. I mean, not Fabia, I'm sorry. Uh, brain coral. Some Rastas. And then I have some Fire and Ice. There you go. Fire and ice saws. I also have some chalices apart from the one I showed you. Um, these are my two little frags. The one to the right got stung. Um, but he's coming back. I think it's uh, the jack-o'-lantern. Chalice. Very bright orange. I wanted to show quick. I don't want to make this video longer, but I wanted to show quick uh, a new piece I picked up. This is my cabinet here. This baby. Ice cap. Um, for all of you that are having problems with refractometers and stuff like that, checking your salinity, I suggest you pick one of these up. It's awesome. Um, there's a lot of videos out there, though, that tell you not to use the cup. Use the cup. I have to, sorry for not being in focus, but I'm putting the cup on. Use the cup. It's meant to have the cup and you will have correct readings. So I'll just show you guys real quick. Turn it on. That little light on the left top saying ready. And all you do is you scoop some water. And then the LCD will turn on and tell you. You can, if you're, if you think you don't, you see that's the second time I did it, third time, 1.025, so I'm good, it also gives you a temp, if you just push right here, I'm a little cold, my AC is up, but it's fine. So that's uh, the ice cap pen for you. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm just uh, I'm gonna end this live feed. Um, I hope you liked my corals. Any comments, questions?
please put in the comment section. See you guys later.